This isn't the first video you've clicked on trying to find a solution that will transform your skinny fat body. So why are you still skinny fat? It's because you've only been fed lies by steroid abusing money hungry YouTubers. So in this video, I'm going to reveal my three step system to get rid of your skinny fat body in just two hours per week, exactly what you have to eat and how, and the three biggest mistakes skinny fat people make that will keep you skinny fat forever. But first, how long will it take for you to get a body you're proud of? I went from this to this in a little over two years but I was training like an idiot. I was doing everything the big YouTubers were telling me to do. I was doing four sets of 12. I was doing push pull legs six times per week. I was doing bench, squat, and deadlift three times per week. And this was my one year and a half of progress training like this. I wasted one and a half years training like this. I could have made way more progress if I just didn't listen to the mainstream advice. Hopefully, this video will save you from years of trial and error and research. The timeline to go from this to this is at least four months. Now, if you want to look like this, that's at least eight months to a year and a half. Section one. This is one of the most important parts of transforming your body that nobody ever seems to get right. How do you eat? What do you eat? When I used to be skinny fat, I would eat very little. I wanted abs. I wanted to look like this. The mainstream advice said that abs are made in the kitchen. So I naturally thought I had to cut down. So I started to cut. I didn't know what I was doing wrong because I thought if I cut down, I would reveal my abs, right? But the problem is I never had abs to begin with. So I was left with what appeared to be a fat stomach and no muscle. I became skinny that. Then the bulking movement started to get popular. And a couple YouTube videos later, I was convinced I had to eat big to get big. And it made sense. So I started bulking. And three months later, my life changed. I actually started looking like someone that lifts. Bulking changed my life. But be careful. Because I was bulking like the big YouTubers and kept it up for way too long. The mainstream advice will kill you. And six months into the bulk, I looked like this. I became fat. So we need to find the perfect balance that will allow us to gain muscle without gaining any fat. And I think I found it. If you're watching this video, it's because you're skinny fat. Depending on your weight, you will either bulk or maintain, but you will never cut. If you're under 185 pounds, you will 100% bulk. If you're over 185 pounds, you will maintain. If you're over 185 pounds, you already have quite a lot of size and I'm sure you don't want to get fat. So you will maintain. If you're under 185 pounds, you don't have enough size or muscle to begin with. You need to put on those 20 pounds of muscle and some fat to get stronger and bigger fast. If you want to fill out a t-shirt for once and you're under 185 pounds, bulk. It will change your life like it changed mine. What if there was a simple three-step system that will transform your skinny fat body with just two hours of effort? per week. Well, here's the exact three-step system and how you can apply it to achieve a transformation like this. I was in the gym one day. It was my one year gym anniversary. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought nobody would ever believe that I've been training for one year. I didn't look like I lifted. I truly deserved a better physique. I was training every single day, sometimes even two times per day. I was doing everything right. Four sets of 12, push pull legs, compound lifts, evidence-based, science-based lifting. But I looked like I never lifted before. I was fed up. I was fed up with trying everything and still not getting results. And that caused me to hate the gym. I fell out of love with the gym. I started to hate it. Since I started hating the gym, I made a new routine where I would only go three times per week. The first month of using this new routine, I was much happier because I didn't have to train every day. Then two months later, I actually started feeling pretty good on this new routine. Then three months later, I felt superhuman. I was on a cut and I gained 20 kilograms on pull-ups. I started off this routine by only doing bodyweight pull-ups. And by the end, I was doing pull-ups with 20 kilograms on my back. I was getting stronger every single day. I hit a new all-time PR of 105 kilograms on the bench press, all while cut cutting and doing the opposite of what the fitness industry was telling me to do. So I came up with a three-step system that will allow you to apply this routine and get the same results for yourself. This is a three-step system. Now, without this one step, you will never build muscle ever in your life. And that is recovery. The most important way to get better recovery is to get better sleep. The better sleep you get, the better and faster you will recover and the more energy you will have, which will lead to having better workouts. Now, what's the most effective way to train to build the most amount of muscle in the shortest amount of time? Guess what? You don't need to train more than three times per week. In fact, Mike Menser, the guy who actually made this style of training popular, he used to have clients that only trained once per week. He himself, a Mr. Olympia contestant, used to only train two hours per week. So clearly volume isn't what builds muscle. So what builds muscle? Intensity. The most important rule for building muscle is intensity beats volume. Quality beats quantity. More isn't better. And super important with this style of training, leave at least, at least one rest day in between workouts, at least. 
Remember, you must train once you're fully recovered. If you don't feel recovered enough with one rest day in between workouts, then add another. Make it two rest days in between workouts. Only train once you're fully recovered. And single-handedly, the most important step in the muscle building process is progressive overload. Every single session, you should be trying to increase either in reps or in weight on each exercise. Without constantly increasing in reps or weight, your muscles won't grow because they don't have a reason to grow. You need to give your muscles a reason to grow. You need to literally force muscle growth and you do this by doing more reps or using more weight than last time. Here's the best way to progressive overload. Start with a weight that you can only do six reps with. Then every session, try to increase the amount of reps you do until you get to 10. Once you get to 10 reps on the exercise, increase the weight and pick one where you can only do six reps with again and repeat. You must do this for every single exercise, no matter if it's in the gym, if it's calisthenics, if you're doing abs, if you're doing calves, you must apply progressive overload if you want bigger muscles. The good thing is that with this style of training, I'm literally getting stronger every single session. I'm progressing in weight and reps every single week because of the increased recovery and intensity. Anyways, there are three huge mistakes skinny fat people make that literally keep them skinny fat forever without them even knowing. If you're still skinny fat, the reason is because you're making these three huge mistakes. And if you don't fix them, you will stay skinny fat forever. The good news is to be able to provide the most amount of value for you, I actually made a free checklist and simple guide that reveals what the three mistakes are and exactly how to prevent them. It's simple, easy to read, and easy to follow. If you want the free checklist that reveals the three mistakes and exactly how to prevent them to finally transform your skinny fat body, click the first link in the description right now and I'll email the checklist for you for free because I have a question for you. Are you going to die skinny fat or are you going to die with a body you're proud of? The choice is yours. Since you watched this video until the end, I can tell that you're not like most people. You're actually determined to take action and transform your body. And this free checklist I made is just for you. I can tell that you will actually take it seriously. And that's why I put it at the end of the video. So click on the first link in the description right now and transform your skinny fat body. And always remember to trust the process.